Olá, former world champion GM Vladimir Kramnik accused GM Hikaru Nakamura currently ranked number two in Blitz of cheating. Is he full of BS or is he right? This got me interested. I initially thought it's either one or a combination of these three things. If this is a high level player, maybe he's seeing things most people don't. It could be just disgruntled as he's not as active anymore, as he has lost his sharpness. Or is just pulling some 9000 IQ marketing gimmick, as obviously pissing people off gets people's attention. Nevertheless, I thought it was worthwhile investigating. Before we start, note. We are dealing with highly accomplished players by their own right. For both, that is out of the question. By no means I'm bashing anyone in this project. What I am questioning is if Kramnik's claims are sound or not. From a statistical perspective, as he keeps mentioning statistics and mathematicians went over this, which raised some red flags for me, as we didn't see any of his claims backed up by numbers, which is what we are going to do in this video. So let's continue. And what are the what tools that you're using to gauge this precision and accuracy of... Well, the those are the tools which are existing on chess.com. Uh, 90 uh, precision is a level of a very top player. Bruh. <laughs> So let's see the game review if it's correct. I would give 90, 98.3. Oh, very good. 98.3. Let's do the procedure uh, block. Let's begin our analysis. You have my undivided attention. Our On first step farms. is to look into the days in question and see the initial information we have to work with. The games were held live on chess.com and played on 16th and 17th of November 2023. Hikaru played against 6 players in total, with an average ELO difference of less 315 points. Without even further checking, it is highly unlikely he cheated, quite the contrary. It is extremely likely he wins without foul play, and consistently keep doing so given the ELO difference. You are facing weaker opponents, and have a track record of consistently winning against them. Why would you all of a sudden start losing against weaker players? What? Here is where ELO kicks in. Invented by Arpad Elo, a physicist that liked chess a lot, his formulas come into flavors. The first one updates the player's ratings after the result. So if you are lower rated than your opponent and you win, you gain more rating points as your opponent is expected to win against you. If you get better, your will rating improves. Same thing in reverse. The second formula calculates the expected probability of a player winning against another one given their ELOs. For example, Hikaru's average Blitz ELO from 16th to 17th November 2023 was 3266, and his opponent's average Blitz ELO from the same dates was 2951. So we have a difference of less 315 points. So from the ELO's formula, Hikaru's expected win percentage is 85.98%. This is no surprise lower rated players are expected to lose against higher rated ones. What we will do in this project is check all his games from winning streaks and use a benchmark of two other players as a reference. I chose Magnus Carlsen and he is higher rated in all categories and Fabiano Caruana which although ranks lower in blitz but ranks higher in rapid and feeder ratings since slower paced games seem to be his specialty. I reckon this could be a good benchmark. So the premise for our analysis is comprised of two main questions. In online blitz games using chess.com, is the player's average winning streak greater than 44 games? Does the player have winning streaks greater than 44 games? And even if it doesn't, how likely would it be for him to do it, without the need to cheat? We will address these with the help of code and statistics. Let's continue. To answer the last two questions, we will need to do our data science work, as it is right up our alley. This will be our assignment. Scrape his and the other players' chess games from chess.com, clean and transform these by adding more information, 
have Stockfish analyze each game, convert all the games to a player data frame, use statistical analysis tools to analyze the accusation, show the results visually on data lens. For this project, we're going to need Visual Studio with Python. We're going to need Stockfish Engine. You can download this bottom one and Yandex Data Lens. Let's get started. After working on this project for two weeks straight, you can refer to the second video in this series to see how I did it and how you can do it too. Here is my analysis. Besides the work we did here, I also used other techniques such as Sari Max and Monte Carlo analysis. We could make a case for Monte Carlo analysis by binning the ELO difference range of players he played against and see the estimated probability of similar streaks. Yet, after doing it, I don't see the point to it. This case is straightforward, just by using descriptive statistic analysis from his data set with common sense. Based on Icaro's results and comparing these to Magnus and Fabiano, it is clear he has many more winning streaks than the other two players. But we also have more data from him to work with. He focused on doing it and he did it. His data set also shows he has an average of playing against lower rated opponents, which can explain the increased win rate versus FIDE when playing blitz games. I don't think he cheated. I didn't find any evidence to it. If there is money involved and he is playing higher rated opponents, that we could research. We could assess if there are significant disparities in his performance when playing against such players. But this is not the case. These were 6 lower rated players with a large gap. As for the explanation of his even larger streak count we found, a better question is, could Magnus, Ali Reza or Fabiano do this as well? Why wouldn't they if they wanted to? Bruh. They're using skunks to heighten the atmosphere of squalor and despair! Brilliant! Woo! <laughs> 